ISO stands for the International Organization for Standardization. It was, it's French, and so that's why it comes out ISO instead of IOS. And the ISO Technical Committee 145 standardizes graphical symbols on a worldwide basis, as well as safety sign formats and safety label formats and colors, and how you integrate the symbols and colors onto signage so that safety can be communicated on a worldwide basis consistently. That's the key, consistency. Yellow is used on a warning sign, a warning triangle, and it's the background color for a black symbol, and it indicates that a potential hazard is present. And then there are prohibition signs. It's a red circle with a red slash going through it at a 45 degree angle, upper left to lower right, and it has a black graphic symbol behind it, and those signs indicate something that you should not do, or you have the potential to interact with a hazard and get hurt. Then you have mandatory action signs, and these are blue circles, white graphic, and they indicate an action that you should take in order to avoid a hazard. Typically, you might use those for like personal protective equipment, wearing hard hats, wearing eye protection, that type of thing. And then you have the symbols having to do with fire equipment. They're a red square with a white flame determinative element and a white graphical symbol indicating what the equipment is, such as a fire extinguisher or a fire alarm. And then you have green squares with white graphics in them, and they're for the location of safety equipment or safe condition, like the cross, which would be used for first aid, the running man going through an open door, and that's to indicate that there's an emergency exit in this direction, that type of thing. So green, red, blue, yellow. In ISO, they all indicate a different type of safety message. So as you get closer to the sign, you'd see not just the color, but the symbol, and the symbol would tell you what the specific message is. That's the vocabulary of how color is used in ISO.